Welcome to a sneak preview of the new Genetic System Builder. I've been getting some very excited feedback about this product and I'm going to show people a little bit more about what's under the bonnet and how it works. We start by selecting our primary data stream. Now we could trade multiple symbols on this or multiple time frames even though we're only trading one symbol at one instant on a chart. And we can also trade our oscillators and indicators. We can use other data streams. And this is important because a system builder will never work as well if it's only looking at the primary data stream. So for example, we should use the cash S&P 500 and we're also, in this case, going to use the Cash S&P 400. I'm going to use 50% in sample, and the rest is going to be out of sample. To begin, I just hit the Start button here, and we'll start producing systems. Now, while it's doing that, the filters that we're going to apply to the systems that are generated I'm purely looking for something that has got a very linear equity curve. So I'm going to start by having a Pearson's correlation of, let's say, 0.98. I'd probably want it a little bit higher than that. I want a minimum of 100 trades. And then all the other filters, I want every system, no matter how bad it is, to pass and the other filters. And the reason is I want to see what sort of ratio we get as far as systems that work in sample versus out of sample. I'll just put the one criteria that I want at least 100 trades in total in the out of sample period. Right, that's done. And now we've got some systems that have come up. We can look at all systems or we can look at all unique systems. And I'm preferring to look at all unique systems because these systems are different from each other and it's not just a single parameter that has changed. So I'll go to the graph here and we'll have a look at the systems that it's produced in just a minute and a half. So everything to the right side of that graph happens to be out of sample. We're seeing quite a number of systems so far that are profitable out of sample. And seeing as there's so many systems already, I want to increase the tightness of the filter on the left hand side, so I've changed the Pearson's correlation to a straight line from 0.98 to 0.99. And now we'll look at those systems that we've got. And my theory is the more linear the equity curve is on the left hand side in sample, the more likely the out of sample performance is going to be linear too. So you can see after only two minutes of processing, most of the systems produced are profitable and many have actually reasonably linear equity curves. The failing of genetic system builders is most systems fail immediately after out of sample. That there's a pretty good curve. We've been running for 24 minutes now and we've finished our iterations. I'm just going to sort by the training period, Pearson's correlation. So I'm going to go to the least linear equity curves on the left hand side. Of course the most linear ones are the ones that I'm expecting to go best. So these are the least linear ones and you can see what we're seeing out of sample overall is reasonably good. Certainly most things out of sample are making profits. Some curves are substantially better than others. There will be some that tank, but the bulk of them actually pass, which shows how good the methodology in GSB is. When we go to the most linear equity curves, we 
you can see we're getting some fairly good curves coming out there. There's more to building a system than this and the fact that we need some other entry techniques uh, filters on them to improve the profit per trade and profit factor and things like that. But this is a big contrast compared to normal system builders that tend to just tank out of sample. Once this is done, we can just go to the trade station script and you can see that the system is a very simple and doesn't have many logical units and we would simply cut and paste the system into trade station and then we do a little bit more work to validate it and add some additional entry filters. I have bought or tried most of the commercial system builders out on the market and this was one I was actually happy enough to buy. It is nice to use, the layout is good, the documentation is good and some of the system builders the documentation is simply dreadful which wastes an enormous amount of time. The results of this one it's very good to compare to GSB in the fact that we ran it for a similar period of time and we saw that it ran uh, for half an hour or so and it produced about six systems. And if you look at the out of sample results on the right of the center line we can see that the curves overall weren't great in their out of sample results. What was also particularly interesting is if you look at the first two systems you'll see that you've got identical performance metrics in all areas except for complexity. Now what this means is there's complex code and simple code and both gave the same results so that would mean that the complex code has actually got logic in there that's not actually used even though it's in the code. So for example if we look at the second system we can see that there's lots of inputs here and lots of variables while as we look at the first system we see that there's significantly less inputs and significantly less variables. Now this has got big implications for curve fitting, it's got big implications if you want to optimize the system because you'll be optimizing parameters that don't actually do anything. So the architecture has got a weakness here in the fact that you're very prone to get logic that doesn't work so well. When we contrast this to GSB, the architecture is very simple. We basically have typically got three oscillators with some weighting and we check for redundancy in our methodology as well. So the architecture is better and the methodology is better and we get very high sample of trades. For example we can see here that there's a uh, 9,000 9, trades so we know even by the sample size having so many trades out of sample is and being so linear is highly likely to be a valid entry technique. Later builds of GSB will also have inbuilt walk forward optimizing so that basically means that we try a piece of data we get the best parameters and we see how it will go in the future using that same best parameters and we repeat that process. That actually gives you a much higher chance of having a system that's going to work out of sample uh, like it does in sample. There's more to the whole process than this though. We also need to have filters that will reduce the amount of trades and it will increase the profit factor and increase the average trade in the system because the profits per trade on these systems here are not likely to be high enough to be tradable in real world with slippage and commission. But the methodology is outstanding and you can see by those curves that it's a methodology that is superior to I believe the other system builders that are on the market. This was the next system that I tried on TradeStation from Genetic System Builder. You can see it's made 136,000 profit factor of 1.46, average trade of $49 and $5,700 drawdown. 
not great metrics, but they that is a raw system out of the system builder with no optimization, no additional filters in there whatsoever. So now I don't often do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put data that's much earlier on in time. And if this didn't work, I'm not going to be too concerned about it because it's a very long time ago and sometimes early in the contract systems don't trade well. But anything before probably about February 2001 here is completely out of sample. Regardless of those results, I need to do some refining of the system to improve the performance metrics as I did with the previous one. But if we just wait for that to turn up, we'll then look at the graph and we'll see how the out of sample pre February 2001 results look like. So everything to the left of this line is completely out of sample. I can see that the curve is extremely linear. The feedback from people has been fantastic on this product and there's a real demand for it and there's a lot of issues with the people who have already built these sorts of projects. Everything from poor documentation to it simply doesn't work well or it crashes or is unreliable. If you have interest in this you can actually look at the roadmap and follow the progress. You can also fill in the web form and that way I can get your details on file and keep you with updates. So trademade.info systembuilder.htm Thanks for listening. Bye. There's also a very limited amount of positions for the early adopters, for beta testers and a few alpha testers. You're also going to get some extra goodies and discounts and things thrown in that the later adopters won't get. For example, here's a Portfolio Merge and that gives you the opportunity to combine TradeStation reports into one. Now, you can get the equity graphs of all your systems together. You can get the drawdown graphs. You can also get your portfolio drawdown graphs that are showing the intraday drawdown. Some of the really interesting things is on the correlation. Not only can you see correlation of markets and your correlation of your strategies, but you can also see the negative correlation of strategies. Now why this is important is I am most concerned about all my systems going bad at the same time. I'm not concerned about the positive correlation where they all might go good all the time. In systems that can be unrelated that make money consistently will show a high correlation but it's really the negative correlation we need to be most concerned about. There's other things that we can look at, for example, uh, contribution of overall drawdown of each individual system. So we can see here that this system here, DAX 2423, contributed about 58% of the entire portfolio drawdown. We can also see how much it contributed to the average of the five worst drawdowns. So a neat little tool and um, again we see the markets, how correlated they are to each other, the systems. So yeah, lots more goodies in the pipeline and please feel free to look at my website trademate.info forward slash pm.htm